So we're here with Neil Capolino, engineer, producer extraordinaire. He's worked with Alison Krauss, Brad Paisley, Avicii, some of the biggest artists in Nashville and around the world, around the country. Um, and we're really thrilled that you started using some of the antelope ecosystem recently. We're just sitting here chatting about Neil's uh, use of some antelope. Um, what, tell us about some of the products you're using now from antelope and what you're digging about them. Well, I've got the, um, the uh, Pure 2 and the 10M and the uh, Orion 32. And um, I, I immediately liked the ecosystem, as you put it. Uh, when I put it into play on my mixes, I noticed an immediate difference. It was, uh, uh, as I said, I, I think I could fly a kite through the sounds, in between the sounds. And the air that I felt in the, in the, in the mix and in the sound stage was incredible. So uh, number one, I love that Antelope is, was first built as a, a clocking company, and I bought the clocks. Uh, so I can have a lot of confidence in your in your digital technology and your converter technology, but um, I mean I just can't tell you. I mean it was like it hit me in the chest. I could feel differently about the mixes. I EQ less. My reverb tails are more detailed. My effects, the nuances in a mix are more revealed. Um, everything about it just made me relax and breathe and go. Ah, oh, okay. There's the music. Um, so it was it was a delight to have that stuff in play. And, and the second I put it on, I relaxed. And I've been moving quicker, I've been mixing quicker, I've been in, uh, getting less revisions from my clients. And uh, as a matter of fact, one of my clients, I sent him a before and after. I told him that I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose about three or four hours today before I give you my mix. Um, I've got some new gear I want you to check out. And he was game, so I sent him a before mix and an after mix. And uh, he claims to not be a very detailed person uh, he's more just you know a musician and an artist but uh, he just emailed me back one word and said wow and when we talked later it was you know he picked it it was blind I, I didn't label them as you know antelope versus non antelope but he picked the winner blind and I think that says a lot so if it makes a difference to my clients then it's it's worth it's worth having so sonically, Neil, we were chatting about the Pure 2. I know using the Orion, using the multi-channel, with the first piece you sort of dug into and started printing your mixes through the Pure 2 powered by the 10M. And what were you starting to say about the sound of that Pure 2? The sound of the Pure 2 is, um, it's just open. It's air. If you could, if you had, if you could inject air into your mixes, you know, you would grab the Pure 2 uh, in, in concert with the 10M. Um, that makes the biggest difference to me. Um, in terms of what I'm hearing in my mixes, it's it's air. And then you can't EQ that into a mix. That has to come in the spaces in between the sounds. It doesn't have to do with the sounds. It has to do with, what, with what's not there. Um, it's noise floor, it's a harmonic distortion, it's it's uh, the, the, clean, the clean path or the conversion. There's uh, less jitter. Uh, there's less distortion due to clocking errors. So, to me, it's what it's what's not in the in the signal anymore. That doesn't have anything to do with the music, and that's what comes through with the Pure Two. And that's what that's what you feel when you play your mixes through the Pure Two with the 10M, as you can feel that dimension come back into the music as it was when it was you know, performed live. Well, we're really excited that, to have you in the Antelope family, Neil, and thanks so much for stopping by. I know you're in the middle of sessions right now as we speak, and you came out to see us, and I can't thank you enough. It's my pleasure. I can't say enough about the, the gear. I'm glad to have it. Thank you.